Hello guys, welcome back in today's part 2 of database programming. So recently on our part 1 we saw how to create database. So today we are going to see how to create a table in that database and how to put fields in that database. So to create a database, we create a database and we give it name as school. So let's see how do we create table. So if we try to show tables, we have empty, meaning we don't have anything from there. So to create table, we shall just go straight and say create table and we give that table name. For example, student, we shall open the bracket and then we give the fields in that table. For example, we have student ID, which is STN. If we give ID, so we shall give int, which is the integer. So integer is 11 by default. So may give the big end which is 20 by default we may go on and give small end or tinty end we may go on and give more others so if i say end i may give 11 or i may remove because we say that it is by default it will give us 11 so we need to define the id for the table by giving it primary key that should define the id for the table so we may say not null auto increment and we may provide that so we shall proceed maybe student name can give it as Vasha and we may give the value Vasha ranges between 0 to 255 and Vasha supports numbers and letters so uh, guys if you need to learn more from this because I'll not explain everything my information or my whatsapp will be on in case you want to have private lesson with me so we may give that and say not null then we go on student and give maybe subject you can go on okay, give it as Vasha and give the value and say not null still the same thing and um, we may go on and proceed maybe we need to give the fees as Vasha give it as maybe 100 to say not null from there and maybe we need also to provide the parents of the student we may also give it as Vasha and give the value maybe 80 and say not now so if we are stopping from here we will not give that comma so we need to close the bracket and then we terminate right from there so we shall terminate and then press the enter button when you see the word query okay that means that you have successfully created that table so if we try to show that table we shall find our table already there as student now to display that table is to disk or what we call describe in full so if i say this student it will display for me that and we say that the same way to say this is to describe so if i say describe student it will still give me the same information and if you see our int just from there it is just what we say that if we don't give the word int it will just do for us the same now you may have done all that but you needed to provide more information after creating how do you do this so to do this is what we say alter table student after altering we shall say add then we give the add then you can give the name for example we may say gender Vasha. then give the values as well from there not now and then then here you need to be specific where do i want it to be if you want that to be on top of the other is by saying i want it to be maybe after a certain value for example maybe after the name after the subject then you may to give it you have to give it after student name that means it will be after the student will be that so if i press ok after terminating and then we try to this we shall find that this will be exactly after that so guys if really this is what guys you want why don't you subscribe so that you get more alert on the next video and if you want to learn more or have private lesson you can as well get my whatsapp number and text me and then we see on how we can have a zoom lesson together thank you guys for watching hope to see you in the next part of this video see you soon